The Illinois Constitution is clear that no state money can be spent until the Illinois General Assembly authorizes it. That includes paying the salaries of state employees. But when fiscal year 2016 started last July with no state budget in place, a St. Clair County judge ruled that state employee paychecks could continue even without a budget. Illinois Comptroller Leslie Munger and Governor Bruce Rauner had argued that paychecks needed to continue so the state would stay in compliance with federal labor law, while Attorney General Lisa Madigan argued unsuccessfully that paying state employees without authorization violates the state constitution. With state employees still on the job in driver's license facilities, state universities, state parks, and other offices, the vast majority of Illinois state government has functioned normally, and the feared government shutdown never really arrived. But a state Supreme Court decision in March could change that. In a case in which a government union argued that the state had to pay contractually guaranteed raises, the court disagreed and said approving state spending was, quote, a power which may only be exercised by the General Assembly. As the state budget impasse entered its 10th month, Madigan's office said it was reviewing the court's decision. Armed with the high court's statement on spending policy, Madigan likely would have a stronger case to halt state employee paychecks and usher in a true government shutdown. If that happened, public pressure likely would force a swift end to the budget impasse. For Reboot Illinois, I'm Matt Dietrich, and that's your 90-second drill.